Hi Cancer, this is going to be your reading for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cancer, month of February 2019. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. If this doesn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. This feels heavy. Oh. Ooh. So, new opportunities, which are going to bring you mm, emotional, like, they're going to bring you emotional happiness, but it might not be on a humongous scale. It might be a little bit, or you might not necessarily like this new opportunity. It might be something that has your emotions twisted. Like, you might be feeling like this opportunity and then it's got you a little confused it's got your emotions fucked up you don't know what this person is all about then we have ooh, ooh. so temperance reverse so you're having a hard time <laughs> merging whatever this opportunity is with your life but it's came by the divine will of heaven like, it's something that's been a huge message for you in your life. You know that this is your purpose. This is your path. This is your thing. This is your whatever. But you can't necessarily choose between. Maybe it's not choosing. Maybe you like, you're looking at it as a black and white and it's just about merging something together. You have the six of wands reverse. So your victory might be a small win, not so much a big win. And it might be something that you celebrate with yourself. It might be um, like choosing yourself over um, a partnership, maybe. But you definitely have two things that you're going back and forth about. So you're, in your mind, it's like you want to move forward, you want to jump into the void, you want to take this chance, you want to take this risk, and you know it's going to bring you emotional happiness, but you're just not jumping, you're stagnant, you are not charging forward, you're, you're just thinking too much, you're, it's like when you hype yourself up and you're about to do something, but then you, you're not in the moment anymore because you've already thought about it too hard, and you're like, ah. Uh, uh, and then you like get to, you never get off like the ledge. You just like sit at the ledge and just, you're basically on the diving board. You're not jumping, like jump off already. Mm. But you got some really good cards here. This is all happiness. Like, you are going to be happy. As soon as you, ooh, hold on, one jump right here. Yeah. So... The battle is over, and you've been pre beaten up pretty badly, but you're still alive. Like, did you die? Like, that's what I'm hearing. You didn't die. You just had to work really hard. You just got your whole fucking heart in a, like, entanglement of shit that's in your mind. It's Your heart knows what it wants, but your mind never knows. Your heart always says yes, and your mind never says no. So, it's like... There's always hope in your mind. Is is this thing? Hope was a plague. Don't forget. <laughs> hope was the last thing left on Pandora's box. That was a plague. So it's like, mm, are you plagued with this idea that things could get better and you're not accepting people for who they are because you can't change them. The only person that can change them is God or their selves. They got to want to change. So why are you going back and forth on your heart and then watching this? Like, you're basically, for me, this is like, you're not taking care of yourself, you're not following your passion, you're not following your dreams, you're not going to work, you're not um, hustling, you're not doing whatever you do. It's like you're doing things on a much smaller scale than if you would have just bossed up on yourself. You could have went and did so much more. You know what I'm saying? It's like sometimes we put ourselves on hold and this, this one is about the mind. Don't get this twisted. Swords are the mind. So what did you fuck up in your own mind that made your heart up broken? And it, was it something with your job? Was it something that you're creating? Was it something that you've been watching way too closely instead of enjoying instead of enjoying the ride? Because that could be it too. Like, that's a very familiar feeling for me. Um, so, 
Maybe you're just being too hard on yourself. Maybe you're just going and digging your fucking... It's like you planted some crops yesterday, but then you went out and dug the seeds up directly the next day. Like, you know you got to wait three weeks. It's not... There's not a matter of like, oh, you. it's coming. You know it's coming. Maybe one or two might not come, but all of them are coming if you just chill and wait. Like, patience is a hard thing to learn. <laughs> I do not have that. I just have one. Cool. So finding this last cup, whatever that is for you, going on a journey of self. You're going out in the dark with the moon, with your little walking stick. So you know it's going to to be a long-ass walk, but you just like, what you're going to gain from this in the end? Maybe that trophy is going to be yourself. Maybe it's going to be the love you have for yourself. It could be another person. Probably not, but it could be. I just think that like everything you need is inside of you and until you find your own love and your own happiness, like you're never going to do, you're never going to be able to let anybody else love you because they're not going to know how because you don't even know how to love yourself and then nobody knows how to, nobody's going to know how to love you because everyone's struggling with the same shit. So, and that cup doesn't have to be that. I think for most people it is, but I think that most people have to fill their void with like something. So it's like we put a bill with alcohol or drugs or other people or relationships and we get online and we watch tarot readings and hope that like love is going to come to us. And when it comes to you, you're like, yeah, well, it's not that good. Because the only love that's really fulfilling is the love you get from yourself. And that's what this Queen of Wands energy is. She has her little cat here because I feel like she pulls from the darkness. She pulls her energy from the darkness and creates it and transmutes it and makes it beautiful, turns it into sun. She takes the night and her she takes her pains her dark places and turns them into pleasures and suns and like sunflowers and creativity and she I basically i think of her as like a poet i think of her as an artist i think of this card as like a, a woman or man who is in their power and but in a feminine energy it doesn't have to be a feminine person or a girl it's just a feminine energy it's being flowy and smooth and creative and loving and caring, but you got to understand that it all came from being in a place of not being loving and caring and sweet and whatever. You only know how to do that because you've been in a place where you wasn't, where that wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? It's like people treated you like shit, so you didn't feel the need that you don't want to treat other people like that kind of thing. It's like, um, like transmutation, like anything you want to transfer, all your pain turn into pleasure, all your darkness turn into light, all your hate turn into love, all your, um, all your fucking, um, mishaps or like failures, turn those into lessons. There's two ways to look at things. So you can look at it from the negative or you can look at it as a positive. And as long as you make everything positive and keep on going, you're always going to be in this queen of wands energy. So let me pull a couple from this. You think someone is lying, they are. <laughs> Dang, who could this be? And that might be like this energy right here. This not knowing where, what to choose and being beaten up really badly. Maybe you're beating with this too. And maybe you're beating yourself up over this liar. Like trust your gut. You know. Like people don't realize like how connected the energies are. And if you know, you know. But ask a fucking ex expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a professional. <laughs> so maybe you need to go seek some professional help right now. Maybe you need to talk to someone who doesn't know you so they can give you a clear, unbiased um, opinion. And sometimes we need to hear that. Sometimes we need to hear people who's not afraid to give us the authentic, 100% raw truth. But, and these fell out right over the Queen of Wands and over this... Um, Eight of Cups. So these fell over top of these. And it says, Time to let go and fucking apologize. Move the fuck on. Seriously, just do it. 
So, I mean, I feel like it fell over top of these because it's saying, like, dude, all that shit in your past, all that shit that you're holding on to, all those things that you couldn't forgive um, somebody for or that you wasn't forgiven for, if you let the things that you did wrong go, like, you allow, like, space to let more love inside you. And that's what pulling this darkness is is all about and turning it into light and the more you forgive the more people are willing to forgive you that's just karma period so just let go of all the things that are making you sad and you'll have a great february <laughs> but love you guys see you in march i hope this helped check out my website tylerdesantis.com check out my artwork my blog whatever and have a beautiful day beautiful month beautiful life. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. I think I said everything I need to say. <laughs> Bye.